In this video, we are going to explore how you can use conditional formatting for an entire column. And this can be very useful because with conditional formatting, you can quickly give uh, hints or information with using colors, icons. So it's like a bird's eye view on specific items. So let's look at a situation. For example, here, we're going to look at the items here. And this is just a simple list. This is a simple list of items uh, or products. In, in this case, this is powdered sugar product. This is butter and this is vanilla extract. And what we want to do now here is just to give a quick color coding where we can quickly filter out which one is basically quite expensive and which one is not. To do this, we will do not only a uh, color coding on the pricing, but we want to first calculate how much it would be per unit. As you can see here, we have this is 1000 grams, 750 grams, 2000 grams or two kilograms, and this is 1500 and this is three kilos. And what we want to do is we want to first calculate how much is the price per unit and then figure out based on conditional formatting, how the price really is or if it's expensive or not compared to others. And this is really fun and very useful to do because this will help you to figure out if you should use this product, yes or no, based on pricing. Of course, quality is a different story, but based on pricing, it can help you better. All right, so what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to copy all of this, and I'm going to use this brush icon and put it here. All right, and here we're going to calculate price, price per unit. All right. Or price per gram, maybe that's better. Grams. All right, I will copy this. Do it for the butter as well, and then for the vanilla extract, this is not price per gram. This is price per milliliter, ml. And the reason why is because this is a liquid. All right, let's calculate this. How we do this? Well, first of all, we select here our pricing, and then we say we have the unit, and the unit will be well. We have the price, sorry, divide by the unit, right? It costs one hundred. Peso, in this case, this is my currency here, the Philippine Peso, and it could be dollars in your case. This is 100 Peso, and that we need to divide the 100 Peso by 1000, enter, so it's 10 Peso cents for a single item here, or this is for per gram. Same story here, we're going to select this, divide by 250, and then you can see the pricing, and here, this divide by that. All right, so now we have all these items here, and what we want to do now is we want to give a color. As you can see already, you can see quickly the pricing here. This is quite expensive. And here you can see this one is standing out as Magnolia is the most expensive brand in this case. So what we're going to do now is going to select this. And we're going to, to we are selecting here, once you're on the Home tab, make sure you're on the Home tab. Click on Conditional Formatting. And with the Conditional Formatting, you have all these options here. And what we want to do is we want to filter out based on pricing. We can select here the top bottom rule where we have the average pricing. And what we can do here as well, let's say here, let's look at this one, the icon sets here. This is a usually a quite nice one because it's quite useful. We can just select this. Once we do that, do that you can see now the price is going to change. However, as you can see, this is not what we want. For me, yeah, so let me explain here. It makes sense that the cheapest one should be green and the most expensive one should be red, meaning as the most expensive option. Same here, same story here. We're going to do that and I'm going to show you later how we solve that. We're going to select again the icons. And we had this one, so we're going to use the traffic light icons and same story here. Traffic light icon. All right, so we got this. We need to now set the rules correctly because the rules here are set incorrectly or exactly the opposite of what we want. Select this, then we go to conditional formatting and then we're going to select the manage rules. And once we do that, we can click here. You can see here, this is the, the current rule we have because we selected these, these cells where we inserted this rule. All right, so we click here and we can double click on this. And once we double click, you can see here the options here. All right, so we can do reverse order which is the most easiest one. And this is based on percentage. You can do in number, formula, or whatever. In our case, percentage is fine. Yes, and we want to do reverse order. And if you confirm this now and confirm again, now as you can see, 
it starts to get better. And imagine if this would be 300 peso, you can see now the price is starting to change and the, and the color is changing as well. And this is quite nice and you can continue on here. Let's do here, we're going to do exactly the same. Select here conditional formatting and we're going to manage the rules and we will manage the rules here. We can click here on edit rules as well, doesn't matter. We can double click on the item, but we can select this here, reverse order. You can adjust this by the way. So if you say, well, I want only the 20 top percent should be that. Well, you can put in here, uh, value is equal to 80%, the top 80%. And then here, this would be the top 20%, uh, for example, 20 and 80. Whatever you want, you can control this. Confirm. All right. Same here. And then we go manage rules. Click here on edit or double click here. Same story, reverse order. You can do even show icon only, but not necessary in our case. You can even change the icons to anything you want, not necessary. Confirm, confirm, there we are. So now we have our conditional formatting here, which is quite nice. Of course, if you have this here, it will not automatically reflect anywhere else. So if we do this equal that, it does not show the conditional formatting. It will be only here. However, you can see now here, this is nice. So imagine, let's insert one here. Let's insert a new brand and we will call this, well, this is the, um, uh, this is a British brand, Tate and Lyle, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is a 1000 kilos and this will be 250 pesos. And you can see here now the pricing changes. What happens is because it's a percentage, it's relative, right? It is relative because this is the highest percentage in this case and then everything, it was 66 or 67 percent and then everyone else everything what is green is 33 the 33 percent lowest yes and this one is ranging from 34 up to 66 and that's basically how it works this is quite fun because you can do so many things here this is uh, yeah for some people this is really weird passion and this is one of my passions all right so that's enough for today let's uh, recap quickly Conditional formatting here. So if you love Excel or if you want to learn more about Excel, subscribe to my channel. And if you have a question, maybe you're struggling with something, post them in the comments, especially if you're struggling with this. And maybe you have an idea of something what you want, but you just cannot figure out how to do it. Well, let me do it for you. I can make a video for you based on your request. So just put your request in the comment section below and I will make sure I'll follow up on that.